Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Junior once again watching to the theme park dude and today we are at Universal Studios Florida to check out Horror Nights construction which starts in just over a few weeks so super excited for that but follow along as I enter here at Universal Studios Florida and show all the zones and some even construction for some of the houses that you can see from inside the park. Now, before we get inside the park, the reason I saw this video outside the park was because there's already some trusses set up right here, which will project lights here on the archway that's behind me. So that's something that happens every year, but I just want to start out here to show you that these trusses have been up for a couple months now, and they're normally one of the first things to go up. And yeah, we're just going to head on inside and check out all the zones, which a lot of props have gone up. So it is currently raining right now, so I'm sorry if the audio is a little messed up. But behind me is Duality of Fear, which is the first zone you will see when you enter Halloween Horror Nights. And it is here in Production Central, right past the archway and entrance gates. And it's a small zone, and it normally ends just in front of that Minion Land sign right there. But here you can see the trusses that have gone up and a platform right above my head here, where there probably will be an actor of the icons. So that's pretty cool, which are Sinister and Surreal, which are two, I guess, demon girls and there hasn't been a ton of details at the time of recording this that has been revealed about them but when there is i'll make sure i have an update video but yeah it is really the weather is not in my favor as you can see and there was supposedly like a tropical storm earlier today so but yeah this was the one day i had to go to come out here to record it so i'm making the most of it so heading on this way into hollywood we have demon queens which will be connected to the icons and actually one of the two um icon sinister and surreal like i mentioned earlier though the rain is not in my favor so if there's some rain on the camera i'm sorry or if the audio is a little hard to understand i'm sorry but um, moving this way is where we actually get to where some of the props are set up and trusses not a ton of stuff is yet set up in this part of the park we have some trusses and some lighting you can see above these buildings here, we have some more lighting rigs set up. This stuff has been up for a while now, I would say about a month, because I was here about a month ago and I did see this. So there isn't a ton of new stuff in this area of the park, but just cool to see this is where Demon Queens will be this year. So right here we have Swamp of the Undead, which this zone probably has the most stuff set up. But that's pretty cool, that boat apparently that was used in the Dead Man's Wharf's house a few years ago. But yeah, we have a lot of set pieces in here. As you can see, we have this greenery already hung up. We have a lot of these areas where you can see actors will creep behind. Not any fog machines quite yet, but we have a lighting set up right here, which is pretty cool. Some more trusses. And yeah, just really neat zone. This area tends to be normally the scariest zone since it's the most condensed and almost like a little haunted house for part of it. But keep going this way. You can see they have a sign right here for um, Halloween Horror Nights. Please pardon our dust. That's pretty cool. And heading up here, I'm assuming an actor will probably be up here or some set piece. That's pretty cool. You can like an alligator skull and like a ladder set up there. That's really neat. Keep moving this way. We have some more set pieces behind me, as you can see. Just a really neat zone here. Lots of cool stuff. I, I, I'd assume pretty much every um, set piece is already put in the zone as there's another boat piece behind me. There's that right there. There's just a ton of stuff in the zone. So now we're over here at San Francisco where we can see this setup where the Peacock Bar was last year which there's been no confirmation if it's returning or not this year, but there is this set piece right here, which in last year at least, they had a scare actor and a photo backdrop, and then back in there was the actual bar. Now heading straight this way into actually San Francisco, leaving London, we have Enter the Blumhouse, which this zone has still not officially been announced yet by Halloween Horror Nights. It's just been teased heavily at the time of recording this because Hollywood is also getting this zone and they haven't announced it over there yet. This is gonna be a cool zone. I mean, it's just this giant truss figure right here. We have this prop over here, which I'm assuming some actor is gonna be inside. And then this way we have a giant light, I guess, projector, which is gonna probably project some stuff maybe on the ground here. But yeah, turning around here, we have the sign that says Blumhouse, which is really cool. And keep going straight here, we actually have a set piece that says BH for Blumhouse. So that's really neat. This is a cool set piece right here, actually. And this is just confirms the zone. This was actually unveiled before the zone was even teased. So it kind of confirmed it for all the rumors. But in the zone, expect to see characters from like the Black Phone, Purge, potentially the Exorcist Believer, maybe Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Just all of the Blumhouse slashers expect to see him walking around here. A great photo op zone, but also some good scares. And probably will be the best zone in this area since Rob Zombie Hillbilly Deluxe, which came out in 2019. So this is a cool zone, really neat, probably the most anticipated zone just because I love Blumhouse movies and I think there's gonna be some great characters in here from those movies. 
But yeah, not connected to the Icon in any way. The only zone that seems to not be connected, as all the other zones have some connection to either Sinister or Surreal, the two Icons, like I mentioned earlier. But yeah, this is the update here on Enter the Blumhouse. So the final zone for Halloween Horror Nights 33 here at Universal Studios is Torture Fair here in New York. So you have Revenge of the Mummy right there, and you turn around this way, and you have this giant stage that actually went up today, which is pretty cool. So Torture Fair, you can see there's gonna be some show here. There's like some torture device behind me that kind of looks like the one that was used in the Shrek pre-show. But yeah, you can see a setup there where they're gonna have an actor, I guess, climb up on stage. Some drain for something, so maybe fake blood or something is my guess. So there's a drain right there. Um, there's probably gonna be some, you know, scary show right there. But yeah, that's really torture fair. Um, you keep heading this way into around the New York. There really isn't a ton of other pieces that have gone up for the set for the zone. Um, you can see some lighting rigs that have gone up, up on these rooftops right here. But yeah, because of the parade, and normally this zone is also as the um, Hollywood zone since they're both in the parade route, they tend not to get big props that are actually like inside the area until right before the event. And unfortunately, I will be off in college by then, so I'm not gonna be able to cover that. But I will be here for the event, so don't worry. And this zone does look pretty cool. I mean, this is the only set piece that's actually gone up so far. Because down there, which is the rest of New York, there also is no other set pieces. Thank you so much for reaching the end of this video. And if you enjoyed, please remember to leave a massive like and subscribe for future theme park content. And comment down below if you are excited for Halloween Horror Nights 33 as I am excited. I will not be going to the event until October 3rd, I believe because I will be off in college and I'm coming home for a weekend, as well as a week later, I'll be home for a week for fall break. So I'm gonna be going to the event as well. So yeah, I'm going at least, you know, four or five nights. I already bought my frequent fear pass, so I'm excited and so much to look forward to here at Halloween Horror Nights this year. Stay tuned to the channel as I have other videos that I've already recorded earlier today, actually, of a full guide to the event. That'll be coming out in the next couple weeks and I have a tons more content all planned out because I know I am going off to college and I wanna make sure that I have these vlog content for you all. So thanks again for watching. Have a great day, everyone. See ya, bye.